Let's play. Alrighty, well, hello everyone again, MMNTW26. I'd uh, start listing off all the reasons that I haven't had a video in a while, but I'm pretty sure you guys are getting sick and tired of my excuses. Um, needless to say, my old computer blew up, basically, so I had to wait to get a new one. Um, so, yeah, let's play Blood Wings! <laughs> should be entertaining. And apparently exciting, too. You will. You are entering the world of pumpkin heads. As long as I am not entering the world of cabbage nose. Alrighty. Well, I have actually played and beaten this game and written a walkthrough for it. If you would like to check out the walkthrough, I put it right in the description. Um, only level 1's done for now, because I actually have not found out everything about level 2. But, um, you know, this game is actually half bad, but you really need to throw logic out the window when you play it. Alright, here we go. We are gonna stop! <sighs> and here we go. Uh, if you, uh, watch my, if you, I mean, if you read my walkthrough, um, you'll notice that I probably won't use a lot of the tactics that I put in for this video because I've just done this level so many times. Now, um, the first thing you want to do when you're playing the game is you want to try to fill up all your titanic crystals on the top, which is done by killing an enemy and jumping into the vortex they leave behind. Now, um, you can actually leave these whenever you feel like it. You are not limited to staying here. Uh, when you think you have enough, you just push escape and you're done. Yeah, this is just me uh, grabbing a whole bunch of them. See, I can't... I, for some reason, my computer won't let me record audio and the microphone at the same time. I can't record from my speakers, basically. So uh, I'm solving this by playing the game and going through with the recording while watching the video, basically. Um, oh yeah, this cinematic is a must to watch until the end, because one of the items you need to win. I just hate it. Isn't that the new girl? She's totally hot, man. Yeah, she's kind of cute. Don't steal the narrator's idea! Dad's the sheriff. Fucking deal. I can still fuck her. Hey, Jenny, it's Marcy. Remember me from Trick Class? Yeah. Hi, Marcy. How you doing? Jenny Braddock. I'm Danny. Danny Dixon. I'm totally a player. Let me guess. I'm gonna grab his cigarette because I can, but <laughs> using it's out of the option. Well, no offense, but I've seen a lot now. Ooh, you've been dissed by a girl half your size! I like your style, Brad. I don't know, that guy back. <laughs> the black guy's like a mix of Keenan Thompson and Urkel for some reason, I don't know. Okay, Jim. Can I offer you right? I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, school's right over there. He says we're going to school. Come on, this is the bus for the special school for the special students. Yeah, okay. I'll ride with you guys. No, I, I did watch the movie in preparation to beating this game, and it helps somewhat because it lets you know what characters do what, and it actually helps for the end game result. Alright, you got the key. And the key is essential to beating the game. This is probably actually the only cinematic you'll see me going through the entire way. But, uh, don't save yet. No, I gotta own some guys. Here! You! 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 Die! But, um, the key is essential to winning the game, because if you don't have the key, you can't open treasure chests, and the treasure chests contain glyphs. In order to beat the end of level 1, you need a specific glyph that you can only see by equipping a mirror and looking into another mirror so you know a glyph to put in. Yes, it's confusing. <laughs> but uh, that thing right there was a titanic crystal, and um, I'll need a shovel in order to use it, but if you use it, if you use the shovel on that, you get the best weapon in the game. Sort of. We've 
come for your daughter, Chuck. Fire hydrant! You will not believe what I need to use that for. Here, here's fifty dollars. Now, where's my bribe? Now, the hunting license is actually pretty useful. Because, um, it lets you see enemies on the map. I don't use it on this. But, if you're trying to avoid certain enemies, I mean, more power to you. Now, see, that's a, um, that's a glyph. I think I have two now. See, like I said, you need glyphs by the end of the level. Because, uh, if you don't have them... Oh, and there are, you will need to try to get every single required item by the end. Because you, all your items carry over to the second level. Alright, um, in my walkthrough, this is what I call the beginning hall. In uh, this segment, uh, most all your important items are here. And they're the first few cinematics you need to watch. You can only watch them in a specific order. And they're in order like the beginning of the movie, sort of. Once you watch one, you can go to the next one, which isn't covered by a gate anymore. Rolling on the highway! Hey, Danny boy. Yeah. Let's show the new girl some real fun. Yeah, here we go. All right. Check it out, Pete. Go for it. In the dark! <laughs> we are totally awesome! Oh, I was just doing my shopping and. Oh, God! Okay, uh, I'll stop it right here because I got the item I need, but you need the voodoo doll in order to complete level 2. You have to have it. And in some cases, you have to have it to beat the game. Kind of stupid, but yeah, it's the truth. Blood Wings, Pumpkinhead's Revenge. With music by Tim McGraw. Like Do you see any garbage around, stupid? Our brave heroes, everyone. Except for him. Hello? Is anyone there? We're intrusive and slightly annoying. Catch a flashlight. Are you afraid of the dark? Hello? Look at all this stuff. I was making a stool for you. I oh, did I say for you? I mean, of you. She's not here, so we can leave. Got a candle? Now, you need either the flashlight or the candle in order to get to the end parts of the level. Young girls burn best. I thought it was virgins that burn best, not young girls. I guess it's young virgin girls. Whatever. I don't get the occult. Check it out. It's totally wicked. I got the blood vial and the map. Ask Marcy. And this is where I'm going to stop the cinematic about. Don't ask me. This stuff is way beyond Ouija board. <laughs> She's the one who knows about all this occult stuff and it's like, oh, I got a Ouija board. <laughs> That's a cult. And you see, I kind of saw that there was a gate there. Now, uh, the gate will be gone once I watch this cinematic now. The reason I say that is um, you need to watch every single cinematic in before the end of the level. And I'll tell you why later. I love how the kids decide that for kicks we're gonna dig up a dead body and resurrect him. Like Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Lucky for me, I am turning back now. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, and uh, I'm just gonna go into this one and go out. But uh, you have to watch every single cinematic for the reason that um, the game randomizes the end trivia question each time. It's actually where watching the movie comes in handy. Like, very much so. Okay, there's no enemy, so I'm going to equip the fire hydrant. And the blood vial. Now, you'll see when I bring up the map that there's a whole bunch of little blue squares. Those are actually secret engine entrances you can use to get into other areas. It's uh, pretty useful for when you're in a pinch. Now, uh, with the blood vial equipped, go down here a bit. Um, yeah, with the blood vial equipped, you can see the Blood Wings logo on the wall, and that's where it marks a secret entrance. Now, the fire extinguisher is used to blow away lava. 
so you can stand on it and get into what's called the zone of nothingness. No comment. But um, in the zone of nothingness, there are no enemies, nothing's coming to kill you, it's pretty much a shortcut, and it's the only place to recover health. You have to shoot these brown things and then shoot these gray balls. Again, no comment. 